Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by EdTechNotation. This video is part of my Google Classroom video series. In this video I'm going to show you how the teacher and the students can use the class code feature in Google Classroom. When a teacher creates a new Google class, each class is assigned a random code made up of lowercase letters and numbers, as seen here. When the teacher is ready for students to join the class, the teacher can either email this code to the students or uh, the teacher can write it up on the board at the beginning of class. When students are ready to join the class, they will log in to the classroom homepage, which is classroom.google.com. And at the top of the screen is the plus icon. This allows students to join, join classes. So as a student, they will click the plus click join class and type in the code that the teacher uh, assigns them. Okay. When the teacher or when the student clicks the join button, they will automatically become a member of that teacher's class. Okay, so if I go back to the teacher side and view the students, I'll see that this student has now joined my class. Once a student uses the code and joins the class, they will never have to use the code again. Okay, so students only have to use the code one time. Now on the teacher's end, the teacher has two uh, options involved with the class code. So if I were to come over here and click on the down arrow for the code, I see there are two settings. There's the reset button and there's the disable button. The reset button randomly selects a new code for the class. So if I were to reset this code, I would get another randomly selected uh, class code made up of lowercase letters and numbers. Now, resetting the code doesn't remove the current students in the classroom. So any student that has already joined the class will remain in the class. But any, any future student that needs to join your class will need to use the new code rather than the old code it makes the old code inactive. So any new students would have to use this new code here shown on the screen. Okay. And uh, just as a quick tip, if you notice in this code, um, it's a six followed by a lowercase l. Sometimes students and teachers might confuse that with the number one or a capital I. Um, so in that case, when you see a code like that, uh, my suggestion is to keep resetting it until you get a code that's a little easier to use for you and your students. Like this one has an I and a 1, which could be confused for the letter L. I'm going to reset again. And there's a much better code, just made up of lowercase letters. So that's a, that's a quick tip when trying to find the best class code to use. The other option for teachers is to disable the code. When the teacher disables the code, uh, students, uh, any future students that are not yet in the class will be unable to use the, um, the, the, the current class code. So if, uh, you know, if a, a teacher were to give the student this code, oops, it's going to refresh here. If a student were to give the teacher this code, and um, the teacher were to disable the code before the student's able to join, it would prevent the students uh, from joining the class because the class is now considered locked down and um, any other students are unable to join. Okay? So it's a great way, if, you, if teachers are afraid of, of, stu of students in the school joining your class when they're not actually a member of your classroom, uh, it's, a, it's a good habit to disable the code, so you don't have to worry about that happening. Okay, so once again, um, the class code allows for students to quickly and easily join a Google Classroom, and the teacher is able to reset that code and disable that code. And uh, in my opinion, the class code is, I think, is easier for the teacher and the students to use in, uh, in regards to um, joining a classroom rather than the teacher um, inviting students uh, to the classroom. The class code is much easier. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, it's part of my Google Classroom video series, so 
please check out the other videos in the series, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.